Tromso, and this is the fifth annual Honolulu Surf Film Festival, and we're so happy to have you here with us. We're the surf capital of the world. Look at all of the people who are here tonight. It's really fantastic. And this is my final year. I started this five years ago, and now we sell out every year, and it's just a wonderful event with so many wonderful people. Um, surf films are just beautiful, and if you haven't seen one, you should. This is a mantra, and that was beautiful addiction. And my name is Jason. Your name, Matt. Matt. Yeah. Paul. Paul. Mark. Mark. Thanks, guys. This is my friend, is it Willie Ma'i? Uh, point panic, basically, but uh, you know, we all, we all started from wherever, <laughs> at the wall at Waikiki, maybe, you know. Kahaina. 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 And we. Uh, we paddled together and I went over the falls and he didn't even rescue me. And his son. You know, when I was a teenager, my sister was a surfer in Rincon in Puerto Rico and she surfed really big waves and she took me to see surf films. And you know, at the same time, I was seeing all these like really cool art house films and I saw surf films and I was so exhilarated. I was like, oh my God, I've got to do that. Um, the artist Dietrich Veres, who did the artwork, he gave this to us as a gift. He's such a sweet man and he lives, he's an artist who lives on the Big Island. It's a really great pleasure to introduce my friend, Randy Rarick. He's executive director of the Triple Crown and you all probably know him from the surf auction here in the Hawaiian Islands. And he is just, you know, Look at him, he's such an attractive man. <laughs> well, this is uh, the fifth year of the Surf Film Festival, and this wouldn't have been possible without the really hard work five years ago from Gina Caruso. Let's give her a big hand. I remember five years ago when this first started with uh, Jackie Walden, and they said, oh, we want to do a Surf Film Festival, and, and Gina and Abby and them looked at about 50 surf films and then picked it. And over the last few years, it's really evolved. And there's a lot of surf film festivals in New York and Australia and all over the place. But this one is really kind of a down home grassroots one. And I think it's so neat that they pick films that really depict what Hawaii is all about. So once again, thanks for all your help. Um, the first film tonight will be uh, I love to paddle, and I, I think this is a great title, and I really want to thank, uh, and mind me if I get this wrong, Martha Tchaikowska, the producer, Martha. She's actually from Poland, and she came to Hawaii and got enthralled with this, met uh, the star of the film, and decided this was a story that had to be told, and when you watch the film, you'll see why. And I'd like to acknowledge the stars, both Nappy and a note of Napoleon Nappy. And, I, you know, I grew up here, and Rabbit K. Kai's in the audience, so a rabbit, wherever you are up here. And when I was 10 years old, Rabbit taught me how to surf, and one of the guys that, that was a mentor to Rabbit was Duke Hanamoku, and Duke and his brothers back in the turn of the century up through the 30s and all the way through to the 60s when he passed away were really the uh, epitome of the Hawaiian family. And I think the Napoleons, with the five kids that they have, five boys that Anona had, and what they represent, represent the modern day of what the Kahanamokas were. So for the Napoleons. 
Our second film, we're going to go straight into that film. And this one is really neat because um, it's about something of surfing that you don't think about, but it's probably the most pure form of surfing, and that's body surfing. And the guys that put this together did a really good job. And, you know, Come Hell or High Water is a really unique story, and you're going to see it on film here. And as I said, we're going to have all those guys and the gals come up here on the stage for a panel discussion after the film, so stick around for that. So once again, uh, Marta Tchaikovska, the uh, producer of the film, I love the panel. Happy Napoleon, as I said, I think the Napoleons are the modern day Kahanamokus of this generation. We've got Mark Cunningham, uh, retired doctor. Next to Mike, Mike Stewart, of course, Mike. And then on this side, we have Dave Homsey and Krista Thornford. Don's still here, King? Yeah. Anybody got a question out there? Go ahead. Um, how do they, do you have, I mean, what does it do to your back? Well, I'm pretty lucky while well, in a canoe, it's kind of different way when, when you paddle and you kind of sit in forward with your leg, you use your whole leg to push your back out. I don't just stay in one place and paddling with a paddle. I kind of use my, my shoulder, reach in with the paddle, use my, push with my leg, twist it, use it all that, like I used to share with the guy, like a weight lifter. A guy, a big guy, can go there, just grab the weight and lift him right out. But in paddling, you got a small guy, you got to know how to technique pulling the blade, but so far I've been lucky and no more back trouble yet. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish that the only thing was missing out in the movies. I kind of wish we had big stuff, you know, like the body surfing all that kind, so you really kind of went fast, but you know, we were so lucky it wasn't that rough and, you know, but like I said, when I'm battling, I just, don't mind me, but I feel that I'm just, I'm a uh, man in there paddling that country, so uh, I told you how to do Marta, you're, uh, how is it that a girl from Poland ends up making a film about a Hawaiian paddling? I came here to Hawaii and uh, by a chance I, I got to go on this paddling trip with Uncle Nappy and uh, I just was struck, awestruck by his the way he was in the water and uh, uh, felt like I had all this material and I had to make the movie and in the process of course I had to learn how to make a movie so <laughs> 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 took me a while <laughs> but luckily Uncle Nappy and Auntie Nona were really helpful and uh, very supportive so thank you guys. I just want to say that um, every day when we set off on the paddle and every day when you know we were putting the boats away, Uncle Nappy was the one putting them up back on the boats and unloading while everybody else was resting. So, <laughs> big hands, hands off and just really. Uncle Nappy, what was the hardest channel to cross? I, I think going from here to Kauai, because I sailed many years on a six-man canoe was really big stuff and flying and, you know, a couple of times. So I was expecting that, so, but when we did, it was kind of, you know, wasn't that, that hard. I think that one was the slowest for me going across. Would you do it again? I would. Maybe I would try to mark me. Maybe you can paddle from here to Tahiti. Maybe <laughs> then. <laughs> See a few whales out there. In fact, yeah. a whale almost hit Harry now. <laughs> for a little while out there. Yeah. And I. Uh, we kind of didn't see any shock. Mom, did we see any shock out there? Kayana Point. Yeah, Kayana Point, yeah. Shock out there, yeah. Well, I was racing about when I was eight years old. And before that, I used to live in a big island in Kialakukua Bay for a little while. All my family is from there, my mother's side. And we used to go with my grandfather, go fishing and hand lines so in paddle when I was pretty small. <laughs> Battling out there, I couldn't hold a paddling track almost. But I've been battling when racing when I was eight, eight years old. And the only reason why at that time they didn't have age group for now they have 12 and unders and all that in the sprint races. But at that time I was lucky because I used to go with my cousin to the Alawai and paddle canoe for this Kalia Canoe Club. At that time they had only 
three clubs at Taluai, Hui Nalo, Helani, and Hui Kalia. And the racing category was 15 and under. But I was, at that time, we didn't have many canoe paddles, so I was always going there working out, so they had to use me to make a crew. So <laughs> I got lucky. <laughs> By the way, uh, Nappy is a young 70 years old right now. The paddle, the paddle we did was, was enjoyable, you know. It wasn't where we were huffing and puffing and trying to beat the guy in front there. And then we would be paddling if we, we was wanted to eat a sandwich, my wife would just stop on the side, give us a sandwich, or and then we kept paddling, so that's how it was, you know, they didn't know really big deal, yeah. yeah. But honestly, at the movies, you know, I'm still the luckiest man in the world with my wife here, so I'm proud. Christian paddling, paddling been my life and got me all from today and like I said luckily we do pretty good in the races because all of, all my friends out there who paddles with me gets me where I want to get so you know many people uh, credit to me being here in paddling canoes so many people blew my crew even rabbit uncle rabbit on the surfing and steering and all this kind of stuff, blue muckle. So many people out there, I want to thank out there. Thank you. <laughs>